guys and welcome to my very first parent corner yes for parents this is for you i am going to disclose some secrets to distance learning i have five top things that's going to help your child be successful yes i know we still have only a month left but we are going to end strong so stay tuned for our five most successful tips to distance learning. Tip number one, create a schedule and make it known. Yes, a schedule. Don't let the word schedule fool you. Successful learning requires planning. So make a schedule and stick to it. Be flexible, plan brain breaks, go for a walk and exercise. Exercising enhances our ability to focus, our memory skills, problem solving. It helps us to decrease our stress level and has a positive impact on our thinking. And finally, make sure your schedule is realistic. The last thing that you want to do is iron out a perfect schedule and you are unable to follow it. Children learn best with consistency and knowing that you are invested. So if you have a Zoom meeting, if you have meal time where you're cooking, or if you have to run errands, make sure that all those wonderful things happen around your instructional schedule. Tip number two, yes, two. Create a workable learning space for your child. Reduce distractions. During instructional time, there should be no TV, no large meals, no video games, and no pets. So if you have a pet, this will be an awesome time for him or her to get some outdoor time away from your child and creating a distraction. Consider busy bags. If they have younger siblings, make sure that the younger siblings are squared away before instructional time. A busy bag is very good for younger siblings. This bag will only come out when instruction time is going on. Find out what they love and put all of those cute little things, crayons and coloring books and Legos, whatever they love, bring that out only during instructional time, something that will keep them busy. All of these things will limit your child's learning time if not controlled. So what do we have to do? Get it under control. Tip number three, keep it simple. A typical teaching schedule inside of the classroom for each particular subject consists of I do, we do, you do. What does that mean? I do. You instruct your child and teach them the skill. We do, you do it together with them. You do, the child is going to do it alone. 15 minutes per section, 45 minutes per subject, done. And please stop adding more to the curriculum. Today, we're gonna to talk about the setting of a story. And oh, we're gonna find evidence in this story and characters and story elements. Oh, and story conflicts. And story conflicts, stop! Please, don't overwork yourself and don't overwork your child. Keep it simple. Tip number four, build positive relationships. Focus on building positive relationships. It is essential to the growth of a child. Adverse childhood experiences have lasting negative effects on health, well-being, and opportunities later in life. So what does this mean? This means that we cannot afford to sit back and passively ignore the social emotional needs of our children. Hmm. So what should be happening? We need to celebrate, honey. We are going to celebrate big and small accomplishments. Hug them more, smile more, show them laughter and fun. When everything feels stressful, close the book walk away and have a brain break. Don't jump on the comparison train. Your child is different from another child. So do not compare what little Johnny and little Keisha is doing in their distance learning academics. Worry about your child and set goals for your child. I want you to praise them. Kids often respond to positive reinforcement. We are going to be proactive. 
responsive and intentional. Tip number five, utilize your resources. Knock, 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 knock. Remember me? I'm your child's teacher. Remember to keep your child's teacher in a loop and to keep close contact with them. After all, any concerns that you have about your child's academic process, the teacher already knows. We usually have strategies and things that we use to incorporate into our lessons to help your child retain the information. So reach out to them. They care and they love you. And Google, Google is your friend. Remember to try to do research on your own if you have any questions. More than likely, there are several research about misconceptions, strategies, and things that you can use at home with your child. If you are doing Eureka Math, go to YouTube and plug in the module along with the lesson and you will be able to get one-to-one -one interaction with someone who's teaching that particular lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in to our first Parents Corner. I will put some links below in the description area to kind of navigate you through this learning experience. Also, in the comments area, feel free to give me suggestions on the next Parents Corner. Our next read aloud is entitled, I Am Enough. So make sure that you like share and subscribe. Subscriptions will give you a notification to let you know that the book has been posted. Be intentional, be proactive, be creative, responsive, committed, inspired, and encouraged. Until next time, so long.